Okay, so we're here with Eric Kersman, and thank you for being on the Unseen Africa. I'm really excited to be with you. Uh, this is, uh, we're here at the BRIC headquarters. So we're on the eve of the elections here in Kenya. What's the percentage chance that you're gonna see some violence in the, you know, minor violence, the percentage chance that there'll be some major violence throughout the whole region? I mean, ever since 2008, nobody wants to make any projections on what is going to happen or what is not going to happen. I think we're all focused on having a peaceful election, uh, one where people's voices really can be heard by going to the polls, getting getting out their vote. Uh, you know, I, you know, as we as we've had the run up to this election, I think there's been some tension, but it's been limited in effect, and um, not too many of us are concerned about widespread violence of any sort. Um, you know, I guess if anything, there, there might be pockets of it, but not very much. Okay. You tell us a little bit about the technology that you're kind of involved with uh, and, and, and monitoring the elections and, and having a, some digital eyes and ears out there. Sure. Uh, so I'm one of the co-founders of an organization called Ushahidi. Uh, Ushahidi was designed uh, and built in three days during the post-election violence in Kenya in 2008. So we know this space. and. Um, that, that software, that platform now is in 150 countries around the world, has had over 150,000 deployments of it. Uh, it's, it's translated into 50 different languages now. It's, it's everywhere. It's open source uh, for anybody to use. So, but what we do in Kenya is very different than what we do everywhere else in the world. In, in Kenya, we actually deploy it ourselves. And uh, it's a platform called Uchuguzi, which just means vote. And, and the idea here is that we work with the election monitors across the country. We work with the police, we work with the media, we work with everybody as a neutral party that allows messages to come in from every polling station, every individual in the country about what's going right and what's going wrong in their area. Uh, from that information that comes in, we can make sense of it really quickly uh, and then we can, we can do some really rapid verification because we work with the election monitors who are on the ground at every polling location in the country and we say, is this true, is this not true, what's happening there? And then we can ramp up certain types of uh, information to the right authorities for them to act. And so, you know, we're set up for that this next, uh, for this next election. We've done it for the past two and we're ready for this one as well. Is there anything you're doing differently this one that you less learns uh, lessons learned from the previous elections? Yeah, well, there's always lessons learned. Um, you know, this one I think we have even more partners uh, across the spectrum, and uh, you know we're we're better known now. We're not the small little company we were even five years ago. Uh, we've gotten uh, we've gotten larger, and we have uh, a lot of people who who dedicate their time to volunteer to help make this work. You'll see a hundred plus people sitting in the iHub actually uh, to volunteer their services to help make sense of this information as it comes in real time so that uh, if you have a problem in your polling station or something's going right, that information is making it to the web for everybody to see transparent real-time information.